Hello, good people of the inner tube. So, I've seen lots of videos on, uh, you know, how do I know if my silver is real or I got ripped off? Um, I think, you know, a decent video needs to be put together. Um, it's so very easy to tell with three, de three tests. And I say three tests, and I'll do those shortly. And of course, you know, the Chinese will probably. <laughs> see this and then uh, figure out a way to beat me but you, know, you just can't beat three tests you just the percentages get very very low um so let's just get started um i have a shitty camera so you might not be able to see everything here um but you can obviously probably tell what that is And there we go, one ounce fine silver. Of course, standard ASC. And what do we know? That's on an ounces Troy, 1.0042-ish, whatever. That, the, the increments will become useful here very shortly. Um, here's an angle hard. This is gonna get kind of redundant, 1.0046. A quarter, 44.192. I like quarters, but um, they are going to lose some weight with wear. Goes without saying. So, yeah, weight. Weight's everything. If it doesn't weigh, it's definitely not real. Secondly, let's grab a magnet. Now these are Ingle hards. I know they're 100 percent silver. And I don't I haven't really tried to do this yet, but this is just a standard uh, neodymium magnet out of a hard drive. Um, be careful when taking hard drives apart. You can cut yourself. And um, this came out of a really old hard drive, which was very difficult to get out of there. So I'm not sure if the newer ones are different, but the magnet is still the same. You see how it kind of just slides down? Because silver is di-magnetic. We use something like a piece of plastic. Look, I'll put it in shallower angle. It's just gonna slide right down. Same thing with a quarter, or the, the SE. Yeah. It's got a very fluid movement to it. I, I don't know if you can see that too well, but You'll know what to expect. Um, after doing this once or twice, it will become very, very apparent how to use this. Okay, so there's test number two. Test number three, we're gonna grab our scales again. And do you notice I've only used two things that you really would need to obtain? Scales and this neodymium magnet. However, there's a third ingredient here. Um, it's very, very difficult to obtain. A uh, plastic cup, yeah. That's what I'm going to use here. Anyways, we need to do some initial uh, readings. You're not going to be, be able to see what my calculator is doing. Can't get that in the picture. Whatever. Deal with it. Um, we'll start off with the angle hard because those are cool. And we know the real. All right. Let's take our weight. 1.0046. Store that in your calculator. Whatever. doesn't matter. This is just some bottled water. Uh, distilled is obviously what you want to use, but um, for all intents and purposes, this is going to suit us just fine. It does need to be filled up so that it can completely submerge your test objects. These are kind of light scales. They only have a capacity of 200 grams, so um, Got to be a little bit careful, and this isn't the best way to do it in the world. This is a very easy way to do it. So we want to tear it out. We want to know the difference. And I'm, I'm just using some tweezers here, and this is going to fuck up the reading a little bit. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just barely hanging on to that guy. We're going to submerge him.
and I'm saying 0 0.095 is what I'm going to use. So I'm simply going to divide the 1.0046 divided by 0 0.095, I believe is what I said. Now, silver has a specific gravity, and that's what we're measuring here, of 15.5. I'm sorry, 10.5. And yes, that turns out that weighed in at 10.57. Tweezers probably had something to do with it. Me shaking and not being perfectly steady probably had something to do with it. Let's try out, try out um, say, a Morgan. Why not? You know, you might say, oh, it's 90% silver and 10% copper. So what's the difference there? And you know what? I, I like changing the grams on this one. Just a preference. Doesn't matter. 26.8, uh, which I believe is the uh, standard weight of a Morgan. Uh, 26.80, because I do want to be as detailed as possible. All right. And that really needs to settle down a little bit. And you might see it's weighing in at 185.37 grams or whatever. We're going to we want to tear that out. We know that we want to know our specific gravity. What's our what's our weight when we submerge this in water, but not touch the sides? Very very important. So I'm using about 2.58. Let's see what that is. So 26.8 divided by 2.58. 10.38. Interesting. Well, why is it lower? Hmm. How, how can we figure out such a thing? Well, let's take something very simple. And I really want to prove to you that this is real. It's a real penny! Yeah, I know. Shocking, right? But the most important part is not focusing. There we go. 1981. This is a copper penny. 95% copper. 5% uh, zinc. So let's weigh him. 3.1. This could be a little bit more difficult. And 3.10, actually, so. Get a guy there. Let him just uh, kind of settle down. Tear him out. This is proving you don't need this test. Notice this test doesn't only work on silver. It works on anything. Uh, it's, okay. Anyways. 0.36. So 3.1 divided by 0.36 equals 8.6. And the specific gravity of copper is 8.89. Okay. Um, so you can see it's pretty accurate. Um, I, I, I really don't have anything else to say. If, if you're if your metal in question can pass those three tests, I think you're good. Um, yes, you could potentially make a, a mixture of a lead, which I think is magnetic. Um, but lead is a lot heavier than silver. Well, not a lot. I think the specific gravity, uh, what is it? It's 11.35 versus silver is 10.5. So there's a difference. You could offset that by mixing it with another metal but you'd be able to tell really easily because you have to use so much lead that your other metal, um, you'd have to use so much lead for it to be diamagnetic if it was, that your other metal, um, it would have to be really specialized and probably wouldn't work. Um, yeah, you can break out sizes uh, and do whatever with calipers, which definitely do if you have them. But I'm showing you things that I got for free, the magnet, and a scale that costs... 15 bucks on eBay. Hope you enjoyed.